first few rounds are on point two fives. And then we're going to jump up because we're about to hit point twos. Lovely. Now let's rewire the cunt. I figured what I'd do is, whilst I'm being a wanker, I thought I'd just do a little thing on how to solder. Uh, some people don't know how to solder. There are just fucking idiots out there that just cannot get their head around soldering no matter how much they try. And I sit there and wonder what kind of twat just simply can't solder. And the answer is pretty simple. I fucking hate soldering. I fucking hate it. I, soldering is the worst job that I can think of doing. I really, really, really don't fucking like soldering. I hate doing it. And that's because A, I drink lots of coffee, B, I've got an eye thing going on, and I just can't make it happen. You probably saw my video on how to shim a gearbox and how easy I made that look. Um, got you on that one, didn't I, trolls? Um, it's very easy to make something look easy. It's very simple to make a task look like it's a piece of piss. But unfortunately, that's just not how it works. It's actually more difficult than that. And the internet goes out of its way to show you that something is a piece of piss and is perfect and lasts forever and requires almost no skill. You can just do it. Well, soldering is one of those things, no matter how many videos I fucking watched, I couldn't get my head around it. I just hated soldering. So I had to find a way to solder and learn to do it properly. And do you know how I solder? A fucking vice. Yeah, a vice. Watch this shit. So I want to take off my Deans connectors and I want to replace them with full-on Deans. Now, I simply rock mini Deans on most of my guns because that means if somebody is going to nick my batteries at an airsoft site, they can't fucking use them. And it also means that nobody goes, like, can I borrow your battery, please? Well, they know they can't fucking use them because it's on mini Deans. But this is the only 11-1 that I've got that's going to fit inside the wanker gun. So I'm going to have to wire that one to full-on Deans. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that I prep one of these first. So I do everything in a particular order. There's a, if you do a set order, you can't forget things. Pretty simple. If you change the order you do things, you forget stuff. And anyone who's ever forgot to put these on the fucking wires after they've done a solder job, you will understand the frustration. It's so fucking annoying. Boom. So we're going to start off with the positive. Pretty simple. I'm going to prep it first of all. First thing I'll do is I'm going to snip off my positive wire. Ready? Snip. We're not going to go through both because obviously eh, dickhead time will happen. We're going to expose just enough wire to do the job. And then I twist it. I think I fuck how you do it, I twist it. Nice and tight there, easy. Then, get the fucking heat shriek on before you forget. First one I do, down here. I leave the wire sticking up in the air, get some solder on the end. That's enough for me. That's all I need to do. That's enough. Next. I use a quite a big fat tip. I don't use the thin ones. I don't like the thin ones. I prefer the fat ones. And I rest my hand on the vise so that I've got a stable platform. That way I'm not shaking. I am stable. So I find a way to rest myself. When well, I'm happy that I'm rested. Lovely. We don't want too much. That's enough. Yeah? We've done that one, we've done that one, and while that is still warm, now the heat is going to be travelling all the way down into the other connector. Alright, it just helps avoid the melting. I don't know the science behind that, I'm just, you know, that's how it seems to me. That's it, it's on. It's on. Heat shrink up and over. Boom. Okay, then I rotate. <laughs> Dead. 
done. There you go, one DSG'd wanker gun. You may be asking yourselves, why? The reason is simple. Because I can. Yes, this is absolutely a response to the people who keep fucking on about the, yep, he doesn't fit Gate Titans because he can't. He doesn't do DSG builds because he can't. He doesn't do flat hops because he doesn't understand how it works and he can't. He can't do this, he can't do that, can't, can't, can't. He doesn't use Sorbo pads because he doesn't understand and he can't make it work properly. Well, there's a very big fucking difference between can't and won't. This is my gun. This gun cost me 50 quid. The rubber, got it all at trade. You know, I've got a modified flat hop in there. I get it at decent trade price. I've got a gate account. So that advanced setup cost me very little. This whole gun has cost me in the range of 140 quid. Give or take. Because I've got a motor just sat here. The motor previously lived in my barrow, and I used it and used it and used it and used it, and it just wasn't right in this gun because it's too fucking fast for an Ares gearbox. It's no good. It's no good. So I took the motor out and put it in here. I'm not into building wanker guns. I don't need massive hardcore rate of fire. I don't need it because it's a CQB gun. The range on this is fine. The power on it, 340 odd, that is actually about 40 FPS more than I wanted. I thought this video would be a bit more cuntish if I made it really low powered, and the gun came out at like fucking 345. So it could be a hell of a lot faster. But it's doing 345, and honestly, I don't give a fuck, that's fine by me. The maximum weight I'm going to be using this is 0.25. But because I've got the flat hops out there, you know, a 0.25 in this length barrel, you know, doing this power, flat hop, stick a fucking maple leaf in there. Exact same effect. Exact same effect. But it was lying there, so I did it. I've got it wired to the front, you notice that? There's a whole fucking empty stock back here. Why did I wire it to the front? Did I want it to be modular so I can change the stock over? Yeah, maybe. Seemed legit, didn't it? The reason I did it is because this is going to require all kinds of magic fuckery. I figured an advanced setup on a Gate Titan would, you know, come with a little control pad thing. Doesn't. You've got to use your phone. And the ball ache to get that fucking app working properly, you know, it's telling you, the app tells you, sorry, device not recognised. It's still changing the settings, and then it forgets, because it's just not recognised. And that's on the fucking Android app. It's not the newest phone, but fuck me, it should work right. I tried to do it on my laptop. I, I'm not a tech kind of person. My laptop's about, you know, seven or eight years old, I think it is. So, you know, it wouldn't run on that either. So getting it set up was a fucking nightmare. So I'm going to stick with just doing it on my phone. That was the easiest way. It's a little cardboard box. And in the little cardboard box is everything I need if I need to mess around with it. And so far, just in the testing of this gun, it's jumped out of, I've got it set to safe semi-semi. Twice now, it's jumped out of semi in semi, and it does safe burst semi. Whoops, I have to carry this around with me now because it forgets its settings. It's a pain in the backside, but it's okay because I've got room back here to store stuff. I put it in the uh, Titan box, I think it's funny, it's actually gonna go in a little baggie. Let's play with the fucking settings. So, setting, safe semi-auto. Now we know it does fucking fast. I don't give a shit about that. Safe semi-burst is what I want. Pre-cocking, mid, lovely. Burst mode, full. I like it on two-shot burst. I think double tap is very cool. Right fire stabilization, of course. Right fire control, 100%. Lovely. Sensors. This is where it goes fucking berserk. 
device not connected. Somebody tell me why. Give me a fucking clue. Device not connected. It's not connected, apparently. Trigger. Device not connected. <laughs> fucking nonsense. That's fine. Calibrate. They just fucking do it! Still burst firing. That's fine. Still burst fires. And it's fuck all I could do about it because this doesn't fucking work. Calibrate. Device not connected. Sensors. Okay, let's do this. That one there. Uh, Device connected. I saw it. Device connected. It's right there. I saw it. Device connected. Sensors. Fire selector. Calibrate. Device not connected! Fuck you! Fuck you! And fuck you! Diagnostics. No errors detected! I think you're fucking fine there was. Fuck off! There's not a lot stopping that. Got a nice cardboard box over here. Safe, which I don't feel is safe because I can pull the trigger. Semi. It's going to fire. The mag is loaded. It's firing into a cardboard box over here. Lovely, right? And then, because it's me and I don't want this to be a wanker gun, all that technology is in it, the gun is doing it, I've got it set up in a way that I'm happy with. It's one of my favourite guns, it's a classic army MP5, it's solid, it's reliable, the power's good, the range is good, yeah the trigger response is good, but I'm getting that trigger response from a fucking warfare. Um, uh, I'm getting that response from, you know, fucking 16 to 1 gears and the right motor, I don't need it to be doing all this nonsense, I really don't. So I'm just like, nah. But, it's just a, just because you can, doesn't mean you should. And as you've just seen, this has been making funny sounds at me. Now, all you cunts on the internet go wild. You've not set it up properly! No, no. It's because they're a pain in the fucking ass. They're a pain in the ass. If I want to get fucked on a game day, alright, I'm not going to take this. I'm going to take this, alright? Just saying.